what are the benefits of getting an MBA in your work life? What are the frameworks built and skills gained? Yeah. So th the only reason I recommend somebody go to a traditional school uh, and get an MBA um, is if they've tried 100 or 1,000, I should say, networking meetings and they still can't get the job of their dream. And you might think, Chris, that's ridiculous. Really? A thousand meetings? Well, let's pretend that you did a thousand meetings and I paid you a hundred dollars to do each one of those meetings, informational meetings by networking. Well, a hundred dollars times a thousand meetings is a hundred thousand uh, dollars. And so that's what business school costs. It's crazy. And had I known what I know now, I probably would not have done uh, an MBA. Uh, I would have networked like crazy. And I used to try to network to get jobs and I give up after you know one rejection, whatever it is. You know, if you want anything in life, you got to ask over and over and over again. You got to be relentless, like a, like a pit bull on a pork chop. Um, you know, you, you got to, you'll never get a date if you give up after asking one person out. You know, J.K. Rowling, who's the, the brilliant writer of the Harry Potter series, poor thing, she was a, a single mother um, and she was an assistant. She hated her job. And she was rejected by 30 different publishers. But she was relentless. She just kept at it. And, and you got to tell yourself, I don't give a damn what people think of me if I fail because I'm gonna fail a lot in my life. But as Mark Cuban said, you only have to be right in business one time. Be relentless uh, and, and network as much as you can to get that coveted job or to make that career change. Anybody can do it. You just have to be able to withstand failure and not give a damn what anybody thinks of you. Because as Michael Jordan said, I failed over and over and over again. And that's why I succeed. And he also didn't make his high school basketball team. A lot of people don't realize that.